Have you been thinking about making the move to Surprise, Arizona, and you want to know what does it actually look like from a person driving on the street? Well, today I will be doing exactly that. So if you want to learn more about the Surprise shopping centers, the neighborhoods, and everything that it has to offer, go ahead and keep on watching. Welcome back to Phoenix Living. I'm Nicole Baker. Today we are going over exactly that, but before we get started, you know the drill. I have to let you guys know I'm a licensed realtor here in this beautiful state. So if you've been thinking about relocating, go ahead and reach out. My number and email are popping up now. I would love to assist you. If you're not quite ready to reach out, no problem. Go ahead and subscribe. I post all about the relocation process everything you need to know about Phoenix and its surrounding suburbs every Monday and Thursday at 5 p.m. So you're going to want to subscribe and let's get started in today's video. All right, guys, getting right into today's video, we have a lot to explore, so I'm not going to waste any time getting going. Right now, we are in Marley Park. You guys have probably heard me talk about Marley Park in the past if you've watched any of my surprise videos or just some of my videos in general because I mention all the time how much I love it here. I think it is such a stunning neighborhood. It's located in Surprise, not sure if I already said that, but I need to mention this neighborhood and this was the first place I thought of whenever I knew I was going to do this video because I want you guys to see how beautiful it is. Um, Marley Park is located south of like the main shopping center of Bell. So I'm going to pop up a little map for you guys to show you exactly where we are right now and where kind of you can expect um, some of the main shopping centers to be. We're going to go in that area later today um, once we get done with the neighborhoods and seeing all the houses. Something special about Marley Park that makes me really interested in it is the fact that the homes definitely have a more unique style to them than a typical tract home which again nothing bad with a tract home love them um but this neighborhood definitely has more character with still being like affordable right like it's not the most affordable neighborhood in surprise by any means uh you're probably going to see an average price point if it's a straight up single family home garage in the front all of that you're probably going to be looking at closer to six hundred thousand. but there are homes in this neighborhood if you're okay with the garage in the back closer to the 400 price point so there are options for everyone um, and let me see if I can find a house that has the little garage in the back so you guys can see kind of exactly what I'm talking about. Um, these all have it. So let me just rotate this camera a little so you can see right there. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. The garage right here is in the back yard, right? They have like kind of like this like shared little um, road black top area. They also have a driveway granted the driveway is not big enough to have enough room for everything um but you can have the you could park something maybe like a motorcycle right there but you have to park in the garage most likely and then in the front over here you have your actual front door where probably maybe your guests would come through you're probably going to come through your garage majority of the time um so that's just one of the styles and of course those ones are always going to be a little bit more affordable just because not everyone's going to like them and some it's not going to work for people for example with trucks right because it'll probably be way too skinny of a little drive for you to pull it in or if you like to do um work in your front yard like that's also not going to probably work out best for you in this area well at least in those homes right here Sorry if I'm making you sick from moving the camera so much, but I want to show you guys. Um, a lot of the times in this neighborhood, they kind of have these like parks in the center. So somehow, some way, majority of the homes are over here on the right hand side. But this is another um, style of home, more typical, right? So this is going to be your typical single family home. But even these have a more unique style to them than, say, my neighborhood at least. And then we'll go ahead turn over here lots of little parks in here if you guys enjoy like taking the kiddos to the park or taking your dog on a walk or things like that you'll love marley park um oh just 
realize the play on words, right? Marley Park. Maybe that's why they named it that. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure about the history behind the name, but now I know. So driving through here, you guys can see these styles of homes just are a little bit more unique than like the typical stucco home that you would see in Arizona. Even this one right up here, a little bit more funky colors, which I love. Uh, not typical in Arizona, right? You're not going to see homes that have that siding on it. You're not going to see a lot of unique like styles or colors here. Unlike other states like Colorado, you guys know I mention it all the time. That's another perfect example of like how different the style of homes are there. Like they use siding on a consistent basis. Like every single home has siding pretty much. And when I was actively doing real estate in that area, I was like, wow, there's no stucco homes here. It's so different. Uh, another thing I do want to mention just on the topic of how each state is so different is here in Arizona, you will see the homes, they already have fencing on them. So if you're coming from a state that you have to add fencing or there's a potential for it not to have fencing, 99% um, of the time, unless you are buy buying a home in a 55 plus community, the fencing will already be included, which is just a super good benefit because it, I mean, fences aren't cheap by any means. So just be, you know, I, I don't want to even say don't be prepared because you don't have to be prepared because it comes with it. So uh, it's nice to not have to deal with that. I'm going to drive around a little bit more in this older portion and then I'm actually going to swap over to the new portion of Marley Park where you have... Um, like the newer style homes. They still have a more unique, but if you're into like the charm, the mature trees, as we're driving just down this street, you could see there's pretty much no like small trees by any means. This community has been here for quite a while. Then also just heard something, jets. If you guys are not into hearing jets at all, you will probably not enjoy necessarily living in this neighborhood if you can't see past it. Like for me, I mention a lot is that I don't barely hear them anymore. And I'm, I'm trying to be more aware as I'm making these videos and as I'm showing people from out of state homes, I want to make sure I'm not just you know, I'm a native, born and raised here. So things that aren't a big deal to me might be a huge deal to you guys. So I just want to mention that you can hear jets in this community. It's not like you're going to be hearing them at night or anything like that. That Sometimes they do start early in the morning and maybe occasionally you'll hear them at night. I don't want to say you'll never hear them. Um, but I, again, don't think it's that big of a deal. You guys will have to be the judge of that. But let's head over to that new section now. Right, guys as we're passing over through this road to the newer side of Marley Park a couple more things I wanted to mention are the old side of Marley Park does have a community center with a pool I will I took some video of that so I will include that in here for you guys to look at and then also the newer area also has its own little community center as well and it is I've been to this one inside of it because that's where they, they used to have the model homes and it is so cute like such a farmhouse vibe you could definitely throw events there on the inside it has this like huge kind of like barn house thing and it's really really cool so I think that uh, that's a really amazing feature of both of these communities and hopefully we'll be driving past it in a second so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about right here on the left hand side is legacy if you're looking for a charter school I believe that's a charter school you might want to look into that again Make sure you do your own research on schooling. If that's really important to you and your family, you wanna make sure that you do that. I don't have kids. I don't know anything about schools besides the one that I went to in my neighborhood. So 
do what you want with that information. Niche.com is a really great resource. Um, greatschools.org I think is another good one. I have some descriptions down below. Right here on the right hand side, it looks like it's like a little dog park, I believe, which is super cool. Not very common in Arizona at all. I would say extremely rare. So that's a little cool feature that you have. It looks like maybe two different sides. Maybe one's for like smaller dogs and then one's for bigger dogs. I've seen that in the past. I'm trying to find this community center so you guys can see that. Another cool thing about this location specifically is proximity to all the different things that you you know would potentially need like Walgreens or they have a couple different food spots they just opened up a huge Costco not I don't know like maybe 10 minutes five minutes away from here so not too far at all big streets in here very cute houses I'm actually gonna drive by a house that I had had under contract um, just because I want to see it <laughs> and it has been a while since I've been over in this area. I had a client who was under contract on one of these homes and it ended up not working out unfortunately, but still cool to drive by. A lot of ranch style homes here in Arizona in general. If you guys have noticed that as you're kind of um, watching some of my videos, especially the drive through videos, a lot of people say oh do you guys have two-story homes here we definitely have two-story homes it's just not as common here I'm not sure why like in Denver it was really hard to find a single story home or a ranch style home um, that was like a newer build it, they were all like really old or like by levels that kind of thing but here I don't know a lot of single story homes which I love and I feel like a lot of people love so we'll have to um, I would imagine they're gonna continue to build two stories like if they have that opportunity just because of the fact that it builds up and you don't have to have as much lot size is what I'm thinking right here on the corner if you guys can kind of see it I know it's a little bit shaded right now but that two-story was the one that my client had under contract super big lot like it was it was really cool and like I said, this is the newer side, but the homes still have more of a unique style. I believe these are Meritage homes right here, but Madame is another builder out here. Um, I think they are actually based in Canada, if I'm not wrong, and they do a lot of siding on their homes, which again, I really like. I think it adds like a little bit of character to these homes. So another thing about the newer side is Homes are about the same price, so that's really cool. Uh, what else was I talking about? I was telling you guys about Costco. Costco, there's Home Goods, Ross. What else is over there? Maybe Michaels, I think, Sprouts, if you guys like that kind of stuff. And that's just the tipping point. That whole area right there is, like I said, maybe five, 10 minutes away from here, and it is not even close to being built out. There's so much open land in this portion of Surprise, right on the south end, that I can only imagine the home prices in this area are gonna continue to go up, which is really cool. Let's see if I can find this community center, and in the meantime, you guys can just enjoy some of these homes. center I knew it was nearby I just didn't know exactly where so we will probably have to wrap oh wait can we go this way yay we can this is where the new homes used to be so this used to be blocked off right here um let me rotate that a little bit so you guys can see let's see can you kind of see that 
So you have, this is where like you can hold the events. Um, I'm gonna wrap around to the front too so you guys can see that. I believe you can rent that section out. So that's really cool. They have barbecue pits. They have a garden over here. They have like a kid's splash pad, I think even. So you have a lot of opportunity if you live in this neighborhood for like events and stuff. And then they also have a fitness center. So that's a little bit more unique like a unique feature in a community center. A lot of them don't have that. I know this community does. I'm not sure about the older version of this neighborhood, um, the old side of Marley Park, if they have a fitness center inside of it. But I know Verado has a fitness center inside theirs as well. They have a few pools. If you guys are interested in neighborhoods with community pools, um, just let me know. They are a little bit harder to find. So just keep that in mind. If you guys really, really want a community pool or say you're really wanting a pool, but maybe the price point doesn't really make sense. And then so you're willing to take the community pool, let me know and we will um, definitely start exploring some more of those neighborhoods with community pools. But I'm going to go ahead and drive around a little bit more in this newer side of Marley Park so you guys can kind of see the homes in here. And then we will head to one more community and then I will show you guys the actual like what is it called commercialized areas where you can expect to see all the shopping and things like that that you're probably going to be going to on a daily basis.